Hi, welcome to the .NET Monthly Roundup for March 2023. I'm John Galloway, and I'll bring you all the highlights in three minutes or less. All right, let's start with .NET 8 Preview 2. First of all, in the main release, we've got some updates for things like uh, data annotations. In ASP.NET, we got some great announcements here on this preview. First of all, uh, Blazor Quick Grid is officially going to be in .NET 8. So that allows you in just a few lines of code to create a really nice workable grid. Also in this post, we heard about Jitterpreter. So that is mixing together Jit and Interpreter for some pretty amazing performance improvements. From the EF team in this preview, we heard about hierarchy ID support. So in databases that support it, this allows you to both uh, manipulate, query, and save uh, rich hierarchies. So this blog post has a lot of great code and they also dug into it in detail in a community standup. If you are a Windows Forms developer working with Visual Basic, you gotta check out this post. Here they show how to take advantage of the latest .NET features as well as Windows features for things like high DPI support, uh, better accessibility, et cetera. For ML, we heard about how to use Onyx pre-trained models with stable diffusion. And here they show a great sample of using, uh, of doing text to image. So a great way to learn about the concepts and great useful code too. All right, uh, for um, cloud developers, very often it can be difficult to deploy complex uh, cloud applications to Azure in a way that's reliable, repeatable, resilient, et cetera. So the team has built out this RWA, Reliable Web App Framework, where they show how to do that and they document it, they have videos and samples, et cetera. All right, in our top live streams for the month, first of all, this is a fun one. The On.NET Live team talked to Johnny who showed how to build a game using .NET and Orleans. Uh, our other top live stream was from the EF team. They're winning them all this month. Uh, here they're showing a deep dive into iQueryable and linked internals, et cetera. Okay, for our community posts uh, this month, we actually have a series from Andrew Locke. He's digging into the whole .NET ecosystem. What's the difference between .NET Standard, .NET Core, .NET Framework, et cetera. So this is a great series to learn all that. And finally, in events, we've got an amazing event for you this month. It's on April 5th. It's Azure Developers.NET Day. We've got some great speakers and an amazing agenda. They're going to be showing how to take advantage of Azure services for your .NET applications. It's available streaming and on demand. And that's a wrap for this month. All the links are in the description below. Thanks.